Picasso is one of the best tools to create content for your AI OFM models. Not only does it make super realistic content, but it's also very easy to use. I already made thousands of dollars selling AI generated content on platforms like FanView. You can also sell it directly on Instagram or whatever social media platform you're using, but FanView is most of the time the place to go. And in this video, I will show you exactly how you can generate your own AI OFM model so you can start making money for yourself. I have a lot more videos on my channel, including full free courses on how you can do this from from start to finish so if you're really interested in that go watch some of those videos after this one but for now let's dive in my computer and i show you exactly how picasso works so the first thing we do is we go to picasso.ai i leave a link in the description so you can follow along once we are at the website we go for launch picasso and then you will see this page and as you can see picasso does offer a lot of tools we got image to image a skin upscaler what makes the skin look even better ai image editor ai image generator that's the one that we will use the most ai video generator it's also a very nice feature because picasso also offers not safe for work video generation that's not something all tools offer but picasso does have this image to prompt so we can use an image to create a prompt for us so we can regenerate that image and ai face walk that's also a very useful tool we also have some free tools down here and the media downloader is a very useful one and as you can see we have a tiktok sign and instagram sign over here and it means that we can download content directly from these platforms and use that content to regenerate our own content so this is a very useful tool but for now we go to the discover page first thing we want to do is we want to create our own character in order to create our own character and this is not a free tool it's paid but very cheap but it is a paid tool the quality of this is amazing so first we need some gems and if we go here as you can see i bought 200 gems once we've done that we go back to the discovery page and we go create ai character here we can fill in the name of our model just fill in the name that you are going to use for your model if you don't have a name yet just come up with one or use chat gpt to help you come up with a name i'm gonna call my influencer Haley summers and we go to the next step over here we have ai influencer target face so let's assume this it will be the first AI model that you're making you don't have a target face yet so that's what we have to create first in order to do that we go for AI image generator and here we can generate our first image on top here we have model name and we make this flux because flux is the best to create AI models if you want to create not safe for work content I will go for the SD Excel PPV but we use flux for now AI influencer Haley Summers is already standing here but because we haven't created yet we can use this so I leave this open and Laura's I also leave this open for now but if you want to create a special kind of picture you can use a Laura so let's say you want to make it look like that the picture is taken by an amateur like by phone or whatever we go for the amateur one the balloons well we can all imagine what balloons are body type creamy well it's missing a letter but we know what creamy is and if you don't then probably this is not the business for you selfie aesthetic like someone is making a picture like this or in the mirror and she's holding her phone and that's the selfie and then we have uncensored uncensored is not safe for work content was well, the naked stuff but i leave all of this open for now because i don't have my own model yet on the right side over here we go for the select model and well the only option that we have is flux choose ai character well we don't have our own character yet so leave it as it is laura style ultra realistic or we can select something else but it's the same selection we have over here as you can see we have body type amateur the balloons uncensored and stuff like that but leave it open for now prompt adherence well i leave this as at standard so it will follow our prompt but it has a little bit of flexibility you can play around with this later if you want but for now we leave it as it is the seat number we don't have a seat number yet because we haven't generated it any images if we are going to generate images then every image has its own seat number the seat number is something we use to keep the picture as consistent as possible so if we generated a very nice picture and we want to keep let's say the same environment but just our model in a different pose then we use the same seat number and the picture will be almost identical to the one we had before but then she's just in another pose very useful but for now leave this open aspect ratio well we leave it at 9.16 for now for an instagram post we can use 1.1 and if you want you can also use one of the others but i'll leave it at 916 for now number of images i'm gonna create four because i want to create a face and i want to have some choice it's up to you but i want to have a selection of pictures and if i'm not satisfied with the pictures i will generate for more pictures and down here we can write a prompt 
So let's say I want to create an 18 year old blonde woman with long blonde hair, big melons, and she's wearing a jeans with some t-shirt. Then I put this over here. If you want to create an Asian woman or a brunette or whatever, just type it over here what you want and Picasso will create you some images. So this is the prompt that I use for my model. Just adjust it the way that you want or come up with your own prompt and I go for generate images. And as you can see, generating four images will only cost us two tokens. So it's half a token per image and that's very cheap. So now our four images are ready. And as you can see, it generated these beautiful images. So for now, I'm going to check which one is the best and I will use that one as the face for my model. If you're not satisfied with your results, then just generate again or change the problem a little bit to get better results. So that's how you can generate images for your model. If I like this picture, then I will recommend to upscale the picture for better results. I will leave strength at 50 resolution. We can make this more or less while well, I go with the 2MP. And I go for body and face. And it's going to cost us three tokens, but it's totally worth it because this will be the model that we are going to use. We need to build a good base to generate high quality images. So putting a little bit of money in this and a little bit of effort is totally worth it. So now we have our image. We go to AI characters, add target face, and I already pre-made my model before this video, so I'm going to use that model. But if you don't have a model, then you can use the pictures that you made right now. Add target face, upload my image. I will adjust it so it's mostly the face that we're seeing. And we go for preview. This will be the face of my model. And I go for save. So now our model has our own face. The next thing we need to do is we need to train our model. We can do this in a few ways. You can generate a bunch of pictures and use those. The method I would recommend is use a real girl as your basics. I'm not talking about stealing somebody else's content, but I'm talking about using another model that has the body structure of what you want and use that model to train your own model. And I will show you how you can do that. We, If we go to Instagram, we can find a model that would fit our model perfectly so let's say this is the body type of the model that i want i can download all her posts and i can face swap the face of my model on there and then train my model for more consistency this way your model will have a consistent body and you will get the best results when you are generating pictures so if you want to download all of this we go to igram.world i will leave a link in the description as always for everything and all we have to do is we have to copy her account paste it in here and as you can see we have the profile down here what we can do there is we can download all of these pictures. I will recommend to download some pictures in different angles. So a few from the front, from the side and from the back. So let me download a few pictures and I will show you the next step. I would recommend downloading somewhere between 10 to 20 pictures. 20 is even better, but if you're somewhere in between 10 to 20, you're good to go. So once we downloaded all the pictures over here, I choose my own model. So this will be the new face of the images I just downloaded. And in here, I will drag all the images that I just downloaded. I go for launch face swap and as you can see it will face swap all the images at once we can do this one by one but it's a lot of work so i do it like this and as you can see a few of those images are already done and if i click this image then up here we have the source file and down here we have the target face so the pictures are ready and what i'm going to do is i'm going to download all the pictures we can do it one by one and we can download them all at once. If we do it one by one, we get them directly on our computer. If we do download all, then Picasso will send us a mail with all of our pictures. So once we've done that, it's time to train our model. So let's go back to discover and train our model. To train our model, we have to upload all the pictures we just downloaded over here. So that's what I'm going to do. We can upload up to 50 images, but like I said, between 10 and 20 is enough. I believe I have around 14 pictures right now. I click this and I go for next. Over here, I can use the training steps that I want. I go halfway in 3000 steps. The more steps, the more expensive it's going to be. But probably the images will be better the higher we go. But I go somewhere in between and it's good enough for me. Number of trainings and estimated time is around 60 minutes but in my experience it's a lot faster than most of the time the training price will be 60 credits but it's totally worth it this is the most expensive part that we need to do and from here it's gonna be a lot cheaper but it's a very very important part we go for start training 
and I'll be back once our character is done creating. Okay, so I took a shower and in the meantime, my model is done training. If we go to select your training, then over here, I can select the training that I want. So let's see which one is the best of all. So let's select the 3000 steps one and I go for select and select training. So what we can do now is we can start making images. So over here, I type the prompt that I want. And on the right side over here, I can make a selection of everything I explained before. So AI character, choose character, Haley Summers. Select training steps over here. I can select steps that I want, but I go for the 3000 one. Laura style i go for a selfie i leave this as it is for now seat number i don't need a seat number because i first want to see what the ai is generating for me number of images i want four and i go for generate and as you can see it generated amazing looking pictures for us a selfie style picture in the mirror and exactly as our model that we used the trainer you can see it looks very very realistic so if we want to make more pictures in this cell, we can use the seat number over here. We can copy this and then go to seat number and then paste it over there. This way we will keep more consistency if you want to create more of the same pictures, but just in different poses or whatever. And this is one of the images that we made. And if we like this image, we can go for upscale for even a better quality. So I keep this at 0.5 resolution. Play around with this a little bit, what works best for you. But I go for face and body and I go for start upscale. It's gonna cost us a few tokens, but it's totally worth it because your quality of the images will be way, way better. And it makes it even harder for people to tell if your girl is AI generated or if it is a real girl. So the upscaler is done right now. And as you can see, this is the upscaled version and this is the old version. As you can see, the skin looks way, way more realistic. It's almost like it's taken with a real phone. So if you want to give her more life and make it even more real, then I will always go for the upscale. But what if we want to use this picture to create a reel for our Instagram? Well, we can do that. We can go to AI video. Over here, I can choose the model that I want. If you want just a normal reel where she's doing a dance in her underwear or whatever, then you can go for clean 2.1. If you want a not safe for work content video for your fan view account where she is naked and stuff like that, then we go for the one. So for now, because she is dressed and I want to make a reel for Instagram, I go for clean 2.1. Freedom level, I leave this as it is. Over here, I choose the aspect ratio. Choose the right aspect ratio because otherwise your image will be deformed in another ratio and it's not gonna look very good. Quality, I always go for the highest quality and the duration, I leave it at five seconds. The longer the video, the more credits it's gonna cost. So down here, I paste the prompt and I go for generate video. As you can see, the video is about to generate. I would recommend to keep the prompt simple but clear. So short prompts, but with strict instructions what you want her to do if you are having trouble finding prompts or thinking of prompts i will leave some prompts in my telegram group so you can use those and adjust those prompts to whatever you need and these are probably the main features that you will use on picasso another very useful feature that we have is image to image so let's say we have come across a few images on instagram and we want to recreate that image for our model what we can do then is we can download that image in the way that i showed you before we can upload that image over here down here we can select our model and if we go a little bit further down then we have advanced settings we can add a custom prompt if we want but we can also go for auto generation but for now i leave this off and i will see what picasso will make out of this so i go for generate again and as you can see picasso came up with his own prompt and is now regenerating that image for us with our model and as you can see our image is done now and it almost made an exact copy of that image so this is a very useful feature that you can use if you want to create a lot of instagram post or are just struggling with finding the right prompts and of course we can also upscale this one and we could go for upscale and make the image even better again so this is how you can use picasso ai to create your own ai model and start making money with it so like i said before if you're struggling coming up with some prompts then join my telegram group i will be sure to Post some of my prompts in there so you have some inspiration for your own model. You can adjust those prompts to your needs and create your own content out of it. So if you had some value in this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos like this on my channel that can help you make some money with AI OFM content. And I will see you the next time.